We're on to the time management knowledge area in our series of PMP exam summaries. In time management, the first thing we do is decide how the schedule will be developed. That process is known as planned schedule management. From here, we get a schedule management plan that guides the team on how to develop and manage the schedule. Now various approaches exist to put in a schedule together. Some teams decide it's going to be the project manager flying solo, doing it all on her own or his own. Other firms say, not so quick project manager, you need to call in the people actually doing the work, the project team. Other firms use various project management software tools like Microsoft Project or Primavera or PlanView, Clearview or what have you. But in this process we decide which software will we use and which team members will participate in this process. We also decide the units of measure, weeks, months, days, years. After we get this schedule management plan out from this process, it becomes an input to our next process, define activities. As an output of define activities, we have a list of activities to be carried out. We also have activity attributes, which I'd like to call metadata, as one of my students, Norm from NASA called it, and I've since used the term, it's activity metadata. Further descriptions that extend the understanding of the activity. We also have as an output from define activities, milestone list. These three are very important outputs that we will use in other processes of time management. And that takes us to sequence activities where we take that activity list and then we sequence the order of occurrence of these activities. We use our finish to finish, start to start, finish to start, start to finish, mandatory dependencies, discretionary dependencies, internal and external. All that stuff you read about is used in sequence activities. The major output of this is Project Schedule Network Diagram. On your exam, you will be tested on dependency types, relationship types such as finish to finish and start to finish, and also network diagrams. We have the PDM Precedence Diagramming Method, which is also known as AON, Activity on Node, and ADM arrow diagramming method, also known as activity on arrow. Be familiar with these. And that takes us to our next process of estimating activity resources. How many people do we have available? How many people do we need? What about equipment, material, and supplies? What about facilities? How many? do we need? How many man hours will these human resources be working? How many straight hours will the backhoe be in operation? All of these are questions that should be answered at the end of estimate activity resources. Estimating the activities, resources, human, equipment, material, supplies, facilities. After you have estimated the resources for each activity, the next step is to think about the durations. Now these could happen in quick succession, in parallel, in iterations, or in a different order. The estimate activity durations process will give you the output, activity durations estimates. Also, the estimate activity resources process will give you the resource requirements for the project. 
after you've got the activity duration estimate, that helps you put together the final schedule with the start and finish dates for all of the schedule activities and the project as a whole. And after you get the schedule from develop schedule, it needs to be monitored and controlled in control schedule. From controlling the schedule, we get schedule forecast, which then become an input to the monitor and control project work process. I hope this gives you clarity on how all of this weaves together, but don't forget the critical path and critical chain are extremely important topics to master in this area. Duration buffers, broken down into feed-in buffers and project buffers, are also important for you to master as part of the critical chain method. Forward passes, backward passes, early starts, early finish, late start, late finish, all that terminology is key to excelling in this area on your exam. If you're getting ready for the PMP exam and you need a solid 35 contact hour course, visit www.praiseon.com. All the best.